So here we are in the shed. We've got the 14 inch Mead LX200 GPS and the 2.3 meter Sirius dome. Um, waiting patiently for a pier and a pad uh, and now in testing mode. Now the Sirius dome has got a uh, full shutter and dome rotation on it, attached to max dome. Of course, uh, inside the dome, you can't see, is a little computer connected to both the dome and the Mead telescope. Now, the clever bit is that the dome aperture is following the telescope. And the telescope is actually tracking. It's aligned and tracking at the moment. But, uh, is, oops, there we go, uh, is moving so slowly that uh, there isn't any obvious movement. So every 10 seconds, the XCOM driver reads the telescope position, sends it to the Max Dome system, and that works out whether the telescope uh, has moved uh, sufficiently to warrant a little dome rotation. So every now and then, just because of the, uh, the movement in sidereal time of the position of the telescope as it tracks the stars, the dome will just shimmy across, a little teen nudge. So if I want to slew the telescope, that's possible also, that's not a problem. Uh, but don't expect it to respond straight away, because that's not how it's working. What it's going to do is after about 10 seconds it will get its first positional update, and if it's a particularly long slew, uh, it might make a couple of adjustments just to get it in the right position. So a second adjustment to get it pointing exactly the same way, it happen really shortly. The system knows the geometry. I've taught it the geometry of the mount and the telescope. Um, particularly important with German equatorial mounts. Obviously, this is a fork mount uh, because when you're going to go up in um, altitude or declination, depending on your system. Uh, the telescope is going to end up having to be repointed as well. The dome is going to have to be repointed as well. Let's see if it's going to go. Yep, there it goes. You'll notice I'm being just a little bit careful. The telescope's uh, slightly close to that uh, lower shutter. Do one last loop, just so that we can get a better view of the, the shutter. Uh, and then I'll shut the thing from within. It can be done automatically, but I quite haven't got that far yet. So I'll disappear off and we'll close that shutter. So inside the dome, a little bit echoey now, we've got the dome rotation box. Let's have a look. It has a simple switch, a 
left and right. Now, of course, the system's connected to this little laptop down here. So theoretically, it should turn it back. Absolutely, there we go. Because it's still following the telescope. On this side, this is the shutter rotation system. Can't quite see inside, maybe just, but in both of those boxes is a seven amp hour focus, is a seven amp hour battery, and both are charged with solar panels on the outside of the dome. There we go, and there'll be one on the other side as well. So that's Max Dome operation in a nutshell. How sweet is that?